Have you ever looked at your backyard and thought, God, I wonder what gems could be hiding under all that dirt? I know I have. Who knows what spectacular specimens could be hiding just beneath the surface? I mean, just recently in Sri Lanka, a man discovered a sapphire cluster that was 2.5 million carats. That's right. In Ratnapura, a major city of Sri Lanka known as the City of Gems, a man was having a well dug in his backyard, worth over $100 million and weighing over 1,100 pounds. Gemologists hypothesize that it could be over 400 million years old. Now, if you're like me, you read a story like that and you have to fight the urge to rent a caterpillar and dig up every inch of your backyard. Unfortunately, not everyone is going to find a two and a half million carat cluster. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. But realistically, what could be in your backyard? I'm glad you asked. First, research. Study your local region, get an idea of what you might find and what you should be keeping an eye out for while you're digging. Where you live will have a big impact on what you might dig up, so get familiar with your area's geology. Also, find out where any water, gas, or sewage pipes are, because the last thing you want on a search for treasure is a geyser of toilet water. Next, let's make a supply run to help you get started. Either a simple hand shovel or a round digger shovel will be just fine to get you started. A garden spade, a pickaxe that can be used for prying, a sifter to remove larger materials from the dirt, and lastly, a nice little bucket. Now, what gems can you expect to find while digging? Well, quartz is going to be the most common gem you may find. It's often mixed in with gravel and other loose rocks, so you might even miss it if you're not careful. You'll most likely find material that's clear or a cloudy white with even a glassy look. If you live in Arizona, Texas, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Maine, or Colorado, keep your eye out for amethyst, the purple variety of quartz. And those in Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and Montana can keep an eye out for agate. Opal, believe it or not, could be hiding right under your feet. If you live in Nevada, Idaho, Oregon, or California, look out for that play of color. For any Garnet fans, you're in good luck as well. If you are in Arizona, North Carolina, California, Utah, Montana, Colorado, or Idaho, look out for that classic dark red, but also the orange variety known as Spessartite. Tourmaline can be found by those lucky viewers who live in Maine or California. With its variety of colors, you would make a great score, but you'll want to make sure to look at anything you do find under proper lighting and probably talk to a professional to make sure it's genuine tourmaline. Parallel surface striations and that iconic rounded triangle crystal shape are both positive signs. Topaz is the state gem of Utah, but it can also be found in Texas. You can find them inside igneous rocks or near streams, so keep your eyes peeled on your next hike. Jade is a gorgeous green gem that you can find in California, Washington, and Wyoming. And the best place to find it is in metamorphic rocks. Another green gem to keep your eye out for is malachite. Usually found in limestone, you can find this stone in Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. Obsidian is another great stone. There's just something fascinating about natural glass. If you live in Arizona, California, Oregon, Washington, or Wyoming, you are in the sweet spot for obsidian. Turquoise with its standout blue color can be found in New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, and Nevada. Lastly, peridot, and with this one, you're probably likely to find small pieces instead of big ones, is most likely to be found in Hawaii, Arizona, New Mexico, and Wyoming. At the end of the day, you're most likely gonna find a lot of quartz, but if you live in a state like California, or in the Southwest, there are loads of potential stones to find. If you don't live in any of these states I mentioned, don't worry. Personally, my parents found great calcite crystals in their backyard, even though it's not native to their area. The dirt in their yard could possibly be filler dirt brought in from a mine in a neighboring state when their house was built. So don't count yourself out too quickly. You won't find anything if you don't grab that shovel. If you want to inform yourself before you start digging, watch some of our other videos and go check out gemstones.com. It's a great resource to learn everything you need to know about the gem and mineral world. Let us know down below what gems are you hoping to find? Have you made any lucky finds before? Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. See you next time. Where's my shovel?